Guys, in this video we are going to see an example of mutual inductance. In this particular problem, we have asked to find out this I1 and I2 currents. Now if you look at this circuit, this is in time domain. First we are going to convert this one into phasor domain, then we are going to solve for these currents. And after this, after we solve in phasor domain, we can convert this one back into time domain, okay? Now let's retro the circuit and also we have to know when we convert this uh, inductance from time domain to phasor domain, that's going to become j omega l and that's going to be impedance okay so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and redraw the circuit okay, here we have these two things and here we are going to have our voltage source this is our resistance and this is our inductance inductance and this is our resistance okay and when we convert resistance from time domain to phase domain it doesn't change so this is going to be just 2 and this one is going to be amplitude and the angle since we have no angle provided this means this is going to be just amplitude and the angle is going to be just 0 degree okay and also this is going to turn into j omega l in our case omega is 8 whatever the value that's multiplying this t that's going to be the omega value in our case that's 8 so if we apply j omega l for this one this is going to turn into j times 8 over 4 that's going to be j2 right so this is going to turn into j2 j2 and also we have dot so we can replace this dot with dependent voltage source but what we have to do is we have to keep the positive side along the dot direction so since we have the dot is in the upper side of this inductor we have to put the positive on top and the negative in the bottom okay and here we do the same thing since we have the dot on top we have to put positive negative and here this is going to turn into j omega l in our case omega is 8 so this is going to be j8 okay so this is our j2 ohm j8 ohm this is 2 ohm and here we have 6 ohm 6 ohm and here we are having this current so when we convert this one into phasor domain we are going to have capital i1 and this is going to turn into capital i2 and that's it now we have created our phasor domain now all we have to do is apply Kirchhoff's voltage law now let's apply for the first loop so current is going from negative to positive so this is going to be negative 42 0 degree and after that it's going through this 2 ohm resistor so this is going to be 2 I1 and after that it's going through this okay for this mutual inductance we have to look at the other one right so for this one you can see this I2 is entering this one and the mutual provided mutual inductance was 1 over 4 so 1 over 4 times 8 omega because j omega l right so 1 over 4 times 8 that's going to be j2 so here what we have to do is we have to see this I2 is going from negative to positive for this dependent voltage source so j2 times I2 and that's going to be negative and that one that this value is going to come in this side okay so we have to always put it in the opposite side so this is going to be negative j2 i2 right here and also for this one we have to look at this one here this is going from positive to negative and the mutual inductance value is j2 so this is going to be positive j2 i1 okay that's it now we can go ahead and create our Kirchhoff's voltage law kvl for the first loop so 2 i1 after that it's going through positive to negative and this is going to be the equation we are going to have negative j2 i2 so let's erase this one let's put negative j2 i2 and after that it's going through this j2 ohm resistor actually impedance so that's going to become plus j2 i1 and that should be equal to zero now let's create the Kirchhoff's voltage law for the second loop and if you do that this is going to be from 6 ohm impedance so this is going to be 6 i2 and after that it's going through this J, j8 impedance so this is going to be plus j8 i2 and after that it's going from negative to positive so this is going to be minus j2 i1 okay that's equal to 0 so these are the two equations and here you can see we have, here we have two unknowns and two equations so that's easy to solve okay here I made a mistake right here this should be j2 i1 okay this one should be j2 i1 
and two equation two are known so we can solve for this one and if you solve this you are going to get i1 is equal to 15 angle is going to be negative 37 degree ampere and i2 is going to be equal to 3 angle is going to be 0 degree ampere now if we convert this one back into time domain this is going to become i of i1 of t is equal to amplitude comes first so amplitude is 15 and after that we copy the same thing like sine omega t and the angle so here we are going to have sine uh, omega is 8 8 t and the angle is negative 37 degree ampere and i2 of t is going to become amplitude is 3 and then sine and after that omega t 8 t since the angle is 0 degree we don't have to plug that one we can just leave it like this and this is going to be the answer for i2 of t and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching